everybody. We're going to do some math now. So here's today's question. What is your favorite way to travel? If you could travel any way you wanted to, would you like to travel by boat, by airplane, by bicycle, by walking, or by car? Which would be your favorite way to travel? Here are your choices again. By boat, by airplane, by bicycle, by walking, or by riding in a car? Have somebody type in your answer so that we can fill in our graph tomorrow. All right, you need your whiteboard. We're going to do some combinations of 10. We have eight. You can just write the missing number. Eight plus how many equals 10. You should be able to look at this. Picture that 10 frame in your head. How many are missing? Here's the next one. Zero, zero bugs plus how many equals 10. How many are empty? Zero plus what equals 10? Here's the next one. Nine, there are nine bugs. Nine plus how many equals 10? Write the missing number. Here's the next one. Seven plus how many equals 10? Write the missing number. Six plus how many equals 10? And the last one, one plus how many equals 10? Okay, for this next part, we're doing some shapes. You can either shout out the answer or you can draw it, whichever one you like. These are the clues. These are your three choices. Right here. Trapezoid, rhombus, circle. The clue is I have four corners, but I am not a rectangle. I am sometimes called a diamond. What am I? Shout out your answer or draw it. I'll read it again. I have four corners, but I am not a rectangle. I am sometimes called a diamond. Oh, I know you know this one. What is it, Charlie? A rhombus, you're right. The next clue says, I have no corners. I am the shape, same shape as a hula hoop. I know you know that one. I have no corners and I'm the same shape as a hula hoop. Reese, what is it? You got it, Reese, it's a circle. The next one, I have four corners, but I am not a rectangle. I am the only shape, the only flat shape with a Z in my name. I have four corners, but I am not a rectangle and I have a Z in my name. What is it? It's a trapezoid. Okay, we're moving over to the next ones and your answer choices are cube, cone, pentagon. All right, those are your three choices. Listen to the clue. I have five sides. I am the same shape as home plate on a baseball field. Ooh, which of those has five sides? It's not one that you have to know in kindergarten, but I know you know it, it's a pentagon. The next one, I am a 3D shape with one point. I am the same shape as a teepee. What am I? I only have one point, 
one vertice T, and I'm the same shape as a teepee. What am I? I'm a cone. And the last one, all of my sides are the same size and shape. I am a 3D shape that is sometimes made out of ice. You know what it is. What is it, Hank? You got it, it's a cube. All right, grab your packet, your calendar packet. We're going to go do some coins. Today's coin is a penny. Penny, let's trace. You can use a pencil or a crayon or a marker, whatever you want to. Let's trace the letters in penny. P, E, N, N, Y. Penny. And every time you do a paper in your independent folder, you earn a penny. All right, there's a little poem to go with penny. Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper brown, worth one cent. You know that a penny is worth one cent. And remember that a penny has Abraham Lincoln on the head and Lincoln Memorial on the back or the tail. So these are all pennies. Let's count the pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine pennies. That means we have nine cents. And to make a cent sign, make a C and draw a line through it. That is nine cents. See you later to do some writing. Bye-bye.